Yo, 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 big kish back up in here. Y'all make some noise for Gilly the Kid, man. Gilly the Kid has finally came out and admits that Kendrick Lamar won that, won that battle, bro. It's, it's, some of y'all have seen that he was glazing Drake for, for a little minute. He was like, man, he said the light-skinned ninjas, they got it, they up and all of that, but Y'all know how Will Evans give it up. You know what I mean? He go, he gon' he gonna he gonna get the whole thing. He gonna get a whole thing up. You know what I'm saying? But y'all know I don't like holding y'all. Without further ado, let's get 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 it. Star NFL quarterback CJ Stroud, who happens to be from the same area of California that I'm from, uh the Inland Empire, the IE. Shout out to the IE. He got Gilly the kid to finally admit that Kendrick Lamar watched Drake after months of Gilly saying that Kendrick was losing to Drake, Kendrick lost to Drake in the battle, mm -hmm. after uh, Gilly said that, you know, Kendrick's tracks were, his diss tracks were corny, he said a bunch of different things, insinuating that, you know, Kendrick wasn't doing what we all saw Kendrick was doing. But CJ Stroud finally got Gilly to come forward and say, not like us, ended Drake and ended the battle, man. So uh, I wanted to show you guys this moment between CJ Stroud, Wallow, and Gilly. Check it out. <laughs> Hey, look! I told y'all that Drake, that Drake, that Drake uh, money is is running out. That Drake money is really running out, y'all. It's running out. Y'all don't like LA anyway, so when Kendrick beat Drake, and I don't got. Oh, oh, I ain't had no. You said I ain't had. You said that last disc wasn't better. You no, hold on. Hold I'm gonna check you right now. Uh, okay, check you me. Tripping. Check me. Check me. You tripping? Play right? this yeah. up too. We know you want yeah. the interview. Listen. But no, 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 no. <laughs> see, see, this is a mis this is a misconception that, bro, whether we interview somebody or not, our check's still the same. We could just right, it, right, it could just right. be the NFL money. Is is NBA is. See, Gilly was compromised in a different way. Y'all remember Drake had shouted him out, you know what I'm saying, and uh, for his son passing or whatever, you know what I mean. But he had to. It's gonna be explained. Just, 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 just roll with it. Just roll with it. Guaranteed, it's coming through. Wow. It's not we gotta be no, no, we gotta be no, 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 no type of tears. So, bro, let's talk facts. I got the great. first two diss records from Kendrick was just. Uh, I ain't listened to the end. Hey, and, and I want to see the first one. Oh, and they say, and they say he was still on um, people tweets and putting them in his song. I don't know nothing really about that. Kendrick. I just know when I put it on and I listen to it and I hear Kendrick Lamar dissing Drake off of I'm so in love with you. I don't know what to do. It's all right with me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So I'm like, bro, he ain't like you me. can diss me. Then I'm saying he turned the whole city. Then I'm saying he did it for he did it for LA though. Bro. This is what I'm saying. Right. Right. Anybody, well, he, he, got, he got me. Well, he he ain't ain't like with that West Coast. Right. See, they not like us. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. <laughs> you know, come on, dog. You know that. But after bro. it came out, you said Brad won. No. And I walked with Drake. No. Drake. Drake probably the one of the greatest Drake, artists Drake ever. Won no the matter first what, songs, you bro. can't take away what Drake done did Listen. For, for nothing. Same thing with Kendrick. Like, they both talented. I, I mess with both of them. I ain't like, I hate dudes who go, oh, I'm picking. Bro, uh, that then, ain't put no money up. I, I mess with them too. But it's like, you got to keep it real. Like, it's like playing football. It's like, if we lost, we lost, bro. Right. Kendrick won, dog. Just, oh, just off that last one. Just off the last one. Just off the last one. I think he, that take over he going game. off of one I song. I think he can't. Because like, that was the one. Off, one that was, it was. That yeah, you got to go the crib All right, man. So there you guys have it. I thought it was. Yeah, that, uh, Gilly, Gilly is impatient, bro. He was, he was real impatient. As far as how the song came on, the song did come on slow, but come on, man, you're you're OG. You supposed to come on. You supposed to be rocking out. Ain't ain't nobody win no whole battle just because the song started off slow. You know what I'm saying? What you what you got for him, Will? Let's get it. it was dope to hear uh, Gilly finally admit it. Even see him get up and, and act like he crip walking and all that. I thought it was super <laughs> funny. Um, the reaction that Wallow had when C.J. Stroud said, "We know you want the interview, Unc." Uh, Cause that's how we all felt the the reaction that Wallow gave us, where he kind of broke character. Cause we don't see Wallow and Gilly ever, ever under any circumstances go against each other publicly. But we saw Wallow break character a little bit right there, where he felt the same way. It seemed like that Gilly wanted that interview from Drake, uh, which was probably a motivating factor on why he was saying what he was saying about the Kendrick Lamar Drake beef. 
he he wasn't expecting not like us to come and do what it did. Um, so, you know, that's probably what it is from Gilly. It also could be a situation where we talked with Glass and Malone as well about this, where Gilly had uh, gotten a favor from Drake after his son had been killed in Philadelphia. Uh, mm -hmm. Drake shouted his son out or something like that on stage. And when we talked to Glasses Malone, who's a West Coast OG um, and somebody that Kendrick Lamar calls Big Bro, uh, you know, when we talked to Glasses about it, Glasses said that this was the case. Uh, I wanted to specifically speak about when uh, Gilly the Kid, he called Kendrick's disc corny. How'd you feel about that when you first heard that part? I thought it was funny. Why so? Because he knew it wasn't corny. <laughs> so what do you think his influence on saying that is? Drake spoke, you know, Gilly's son, you know, got murdered in Philadelphia. And Drake, like, really sent a lot of emotional support, you know, to Gilly. So, you know, it's nothing wrong with him aligning himself with somebody supporting him through such a traumatic experience, like losing a kid. Like Cameron or anybody, it's like, man, niggas could have an opinion. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm riding with, with home team. Home team going to get it done. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, I don't mind. Like, I, I remember, here's a little small thing. Me and Dot was talking about it, like, briefly. He's like, man, it's like this nigga paid off all the media. I remember telling uh, Dot it don't matter. Y'all hear that? Dot said it seemed like Drake paid off all the media. And that's what we've been saying this whole time. People are compromised, bro. They can't. Ah, oh, man, that's crazy, bro. But that money done dried up. You know what I mean? That money done dried up. You know, it's, it's starting to show. Everybody's starting to come. Now we need Cameron on board, Mace. Uh, who else we got that said that was saying Drake won? Gilly, he back on board. Who else we got? Who, uh, uh think, what, 50 Cent? Now, 50 Cent got to get some movies out of Drake first before he come on out. But, yeah, we got a couple other more that need to get back on board because that money done ran out. Mm -hmm. Ain't none of these people, you the culture, bro. Ain't That's nobody right. fuck with you. Is there all yeah. these people? It could be shout out to Act, shout out to Maul, shout out to all of these people that you know aligning themselves with the album. Oh, yeah, it's like, bro, too. when it's all said and done, cause it's gonna be oh, honest. Yeah, might. So, <laughs> if that be the case, we understand why Gilly was supporting Drake the way he was during the battle. But I do appreciate that he came out and said, you know what, not like us is fire. I can't even right, deny it. Right. I can't pretend like it's not. You know, you can't. You can't. It's it's undeniable. Not like us ended all that. And what he was saying about the other tracks. I'm going to take it with a grain of salt because of the relationship or whatever connection he has to Drake. Um, and we've heard Gilly say in the past that he wants a Drake interview on his podcast, Million Dollars Worth of Games. So, uh, you know, that's just what it is, man. I don't take it uh, no further than that. I think Gilly was just, you know, being a fan, but also, you know, looking out for his best interest, too, in business. So that's what it is. Urban Legend 11, you know what it is. Make sure you like. Comment. Hey, y'all let me know how y'all feel about the. Uh... Gilly coming out, you know what I'm saying? Y'all please go subscribe to Urban Legend Will, Le Will Evans. I know he don't need my help with subscribers, but yeah, y'all if you ain't subscribed, go subscribe. He be he be hitting us with the with the new stuff, you know what I'm saying? He comes out with it, you know what I mean? But uh yeah, y'all let me know how y'all feel about that, man. Big Kish signing out. I'm gone, man.